Ready to dive into God's own country? Welcome to Kerala, where beaches are serene, backwaters are pristine, dotted with houseboats all around. Every corner of this beautiful state looks like a postcard. So, let's explore this tropical paradise together. In this video, I'll take you through all the must-visit spots and share a detailed itinerary with you. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to plan your own epic Kerala adventure with ease. Starting this video with my favorite place in Kerala, Varkala. This is Kerala's coolest escape. Imagine you're walking on a cliff, ocean on one side and cafes and accommodations on the other. When you visit Varkala, make sure to stay on the Varkala cliff and also check out the cafes restaurants here with the view of the ocean. On the cliff, you have direct access to the Varkala beach and also check out the black sand beach there. If you have time, visit Kapil Beach with backwaters on one side and ocean on the other, Jatayu Earth Centre and take a day trip to Munro Island which is just 2 hours away. So don't miss out on this picturesque paradise in Kerala. Ever dreamed of floating through paradise? Welcome to Alipi, the Venice of the East. There are many ways to explore Alipi backwaters. You can take a Shikara ride which gives you a short ride around the backwaters. You can go kayaking or canoeing for an offbeat experience or cruise through the serene backwaters on a traditional houseboat. Also, don't forget to watch the sunset at the Alipura beach with its iconic pier and golden sands. Go bird watching in Vembanad. Explore the lush greenery of Kuttanad, also known as the rice bowl of Kerala. Now it's time to dive into the melting pot of cultures. Welcome to Kochi, where history meets modern charm. Kochi is a vibrant capital of Kerala and there's so much to do here. You can wander through the picturesque streets of Fort Kochi and admire the colonial architecture, marvel at the iconic Chinese fishing nets at sunset, explore the fascinating exhibits at the Matanchari Palace, don't miss a visit to the vibrant Jew town with its charming shops and the historic synagogue. Next, you've got to visit the backwaters of Ernakulam and Ernakulam Beach. Kochi overall is the perfect mix of modern and vintage. Are you ready to chase some waterfalls? Welcome to Athrapali, Kerala's very own magical Niagara Falls. Situated right amidst a forest, there's so much to do around these falls. Marvel at the majestic Athrapali Falls cascading down 80 feet, take a serene walk through the lush Vastral Forest and also visit Vastral Falls and Charpa Falls. Spot exotic wildlife and birds in the nearby forests and rivers. To elevate your trip, you can also stay in a resort with panoramic views of the falls and then indulge in a traditional Kerala sadhya, a feast of flavours served on a banana leaf. Get ready for a wild adventure in this breathtaking landscape. Are you ready to escape into Kerala's lush green hills? Welcome to Vayanad, Kerala's very own hidden paradise. Hike to the stunning Edical Caves and marvel at the ancient rock carvings. Explore scenic lakes of Vayanad and take a peaceful boat ride. Go for a forest safari at the Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. Visit the lush tea gardens of Vayanad and soak up in the serene landscape. Stay amidst the forest in Vayanad where you can wake up surrounded by serene landscapes and heritage charm. Get ready to immerse yourself in nature's beauty here. Ready to get lost in the tea-scented hills of Munnar? This place is a dream come true. Explore lush tea gardens, visit stunning national parks and take in the panoramic views from this hill station. So pack your bags for a scenic adventure in Munnar. Best time to visit Kerala October to March is a good time to visit Kerala as the weather conditions are more favourable around this time. And here is your 12-day itinerary to Kerala. Spend two days in Varkala and make your way to Alipi. Spend two days in Alipi and head straight to Kochi. Stay in Kochi for two more days and make your way to Munnar. After spending a few days in Munnar, make your way to Athrapali Falls. After exploring Athrapali Falls, make your way to Vayanad and end your trip there. 
so we've come to the end of our video and if you like the video please don't forget to like save share and subscribe it would mean a lot